Keith, we kind of got spoiled by our little February thaw that, yeah. that peaked on Saturday with a really nice mild day. And so this, today it's like, well, it's so cold. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It, it was so nice. We were walking out on a, on a lake and my wife was a little nervous about it. I said, it's 50 now, but there's two feet of ice under this. So I think it's okay. We're going back to the refreeze overnight tonight. And I just wanted to point out, if you, if you don't live in the Midcoast, or down East Maine, you may not even realize they got some snow there. Uh, it was a little band of snow that came through this morning. And this was part of a enormous forecast bust that happened down in Massachusetts where they were supposed to get one or two inches of snow and they got four to eight widespread as that band set up to the far to the Northwest. So we just dodged that being an issue here in Maine or I dodged it, I guess, more specifically. Overnight lows, uh, single digits along the coastline, a little bit below zero inland and then about five to 10 degrees below zero into the mountains, so it will be a cold night. And tomorrow will be another cold day as temperatures struggle to get above 20 degrees. I think most of us will stay in the teens under a mixture of sun and clouds. We start with more sun. We end up with more clouds in the afternoon. Isolated flurry possible in the mountains as well. Another chilly night tomorrow night, not as cold though as tonight. We should drop down into the teens and single digits into the mountains. Clouds come in on Wednesday. That's our moderating day. We get to about freezing by one in the afternoon, but watch what happens Wednesday night. Temperatures actually increase overnight on Wednesday. So we're in the upper 30s by nine o'clock, and then we're getting into the low 40s by uh, two, three, four in the morning on Thursday. And Thursday, the showers are gonna stay to our north through a good part of the day. So we could get into the 50s, maybe even mid 50s over Southern and Western Maine on Thursday before this comes crashing down as a wall of rain. High pressure moves out of the way, and this next storm does look largely like rain, starting as rain showers Thursday night, turning into more consistent rain uh, Thursday uh, late evening into Friday, and then the storm moves out on Friday midday, maybe mixing as a little bit of snow on the backside, but I'll tell you what, I don't think there's much snow in here. I think it's largely just a relatively mild rain event. Skiers won't be too happy with that. We will melt what is left of the snow along the coast, which isn't much as it turns out, and uh, some snow showers on Saturday as we cool back down Saturday and Sunday. I'll keep an eye for the mountain mix on Friday. That could be the saving grace, but I think most of us plan for rain, and you know what happens when it rains on top of the snow and then it freezes on Saturday. Mm. We've done that 110 billion times this <laughs> winter so far, and we'll do it again, it looks like, this weekend. What a fun pattern. Yeah, awesome. Th thank you, Keith. <laughs>